We were talking about Rebecca and your harrowing incident on, uh, what was it, Sunday? It no, it was on Saturday. Saturday. Crazy guy. When some nutcase tried to run you and your husband off the road. Tried to ram my Jeep. Ram your Jeep. And uh, you weren't even driving. Your husband was driving. Yeah, and, you and he s- was driving normal, too. And you've said, which I think is very funny, that you can understand why people would have road rage against your husband uh-huh. because he drives like an old woman. Yeah, exactly. Those are your words. I'm not saying that, in so don't be mad at me. Lane. He drives in the left lane, uh-huh. the speed limit. Right. Infuriating. Right. But, but he, this but was, he was not, not the case. doing it on Saturday this because I case. told him not to. And this guy still uh, followed you off of the highway and was like swerving at you and doing no, all No, he sorts wouldn't of let things. us get off the highway. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. Like so we were talking about that, and we are talking about road rage stories, and I got uh, an email from a listener named Todd who said, Jonathan, I love your show and consider myself one of the 11. Bam! But I have to say I was a little miffed at your topic yesterday on road rage. You told several stories about people who have chased you or tried to run you off the road, and in every instance, the person was a guy. Now, I'm not saying you're lying, but in my experience, the people who drive the worst are women. I'm not saying that they're bad drivers. I'm saying that they are evolutionarily limited or something. Excuse me? Because they drive a lot angrier than men do. When I'm in the car with my wife, little things make her crazy. She refuses to get over it even when someone is barreling down on us because she's, quote, going the speed limit and screw that guy, she says. She won't she won't cut people off, but she will give people the finger all the time for little things like not using their turn signal. She gets away with it because she's a good-looking woman. And then Any guy that she flips off is probably just happy for the attention. And this has also been my experience with ex-girlfriends and even my own mother. Women are not bad drivers. They are angrier drivers than men. Just my two cents. That's from Todd. I can see that. Uh, I... In my experience... No, I, I think I've probably had more experience with men being angry drivers than women. Yeah, I think I, we're catty. My my mom is like too nice of a driver. Like she let people over. She doesn't care if people go around her. Oh, whatever. My dad was a psychopath behind the wheel. Same thing with me and my. Family. Katie is a fine driver. She doesn't do anything really messed up or crazy or hysterical behind the wheel. Uh, maybe she's a little like, for my taste, a little overly cautious. But I'm a demon when I'm behind the wheel. I'm out of my freaking mind when I'm behind the wheel. I'm very calm. Very calm. But I just want to know. I'm going to throw this out to the phone lines and the text lines. 576-7798. That's our phone number. Call in. 576-7798. Do you agree with Todd? Are women naturally angrier drivers? Not, he's not saying they're worse drivers, necessarily. He's just saying that women are angrier when they drive. I think that that is, I mean, it's a total anecdotal case that he's giving. He's like, my wife and ex-girlfriends. Maybe you just have been with angry people. <laughs> Maybe that's your problem, Todd. For me, it depends on the day. Like, if I'm already in a bad the day mood, of the month. I see what you're saying. Uh-huh. You're saying these women <laughs> and their fun. periods. I get it. That's disgusting, Jason. No, I didn't say that. But, it, like, it depends on the day for me as far as whether... I'm a D-bag type driver or if I'm a guy who will let somebody over. But in my experiences, and I've only been driving.